Here's tonight's 9 at 9. Serious charges for a San Antonio teenager. The 16-year-old is being charged with capital murder as an adult. Prosecutors say Raul Cervera was 15 when he shot a man to death during a drug deal. During a hearing today, a forensic psychologist testified that the teen had a troubled childhood that included drug use and abuse. A Maryland man says that he was attacked because he was wearing a Make America Great Again hat. The man, who was a U.S. citizen who came here from the West African nation of Togo, says that he was walking down the street when two men began mocking him and then started hitting him. The men allegedly smashed the man's headphones and tried to take his phone after he took their photo. The men have been arrested and charged with robbery, assault and theft. A woman recovering after she was stabbed by a man she recently met online. According to San Antonio police, the pair met on the dating app Plenty of Fish. The woman brought the man back to her apartment where they got into an argument. That's when police say the man grabbed a butcher knife from the kitchen and stabbed the woman in the back. The woman's son was home at the time and pushed that man out of the apartment. The victim was taken to University Hospital. Police are still searching for that suspect. Drone footage shows extensive damage left behind after storms in central Texas. 55 homes were destroyed and dozens of people left hurt after three tornadoes touched down in that area over the weekend. A south side San Antonio pastor is preaching forgiveness after a fire damaged the outside of his church. There's no hate in us for them, you know, like they did what they did. Uh, but we believe that th it's a cry out also for help. Arson investigators with the San Antonio Fire Department say that someone set fire to a pile of garbage outside the Holy One Church. Luckily, that fire did not spread inside, but did damage a hand-carved wooden design on the church doors. No one has been arrested. A New York mother got a $115 parking ticket after she pulled over into a commercial zone to breastfeed her crying three-month-old baby. She was breastfeeding in the back seat when a tow truck pulled up. The car was not towed, but the mother was given a ticket that she intends to fight in court. An abandoned Miami Beach hospital imploded to make way for a new high-rise condo. That hospital had been abandoned for nearly a decade. Take a look at this, a potential medical breakthrough. Israeli researchers have 3D printed a heart using a patient's cells. It's small, about the size of a rabbit's heart, but researchers say that larger human-sized hearts could be created using this same technology. Oil rig workers rescue a dog found swimming 135 miles off the coast of Thailand. They used a rope to lift the exhausted pup to safety. Workers nicknamed him Boonrod, which loosely translates to survivor. The dog was taken safely back to shore and is said to be in good spirits. To read more about these nine stories, just head to ksat.com slash news at nine.